Rejoice everyone, because for once we are getting more than just two generations of Intel CPUs per socket. So a good motherboard with that socket is now more valuable than ever. And if you're still looking for one, then maybe the ASUS ROG Z790H might be up your alley. Because sure, at a price of $300, it's definitely not the cheapest thing in the world, but still cheaper than many other of these mid-tier to high-end options and still features pretty much everything you could ever want. Starting off with CPU power, you have 16 plus 1 power phases in total. More than enough for even the most power-hungry Intel CPUs in a high end, especially when combined with two full 8 pins for CPU power as well. And pretty much the same things can be said about the PC expansion, which is also pretty much okay. You have a primary lightning fast PC Gen 5 slot, an additional full 16x Gen 4 slot, and also a tiny little 1x slot as well. There is sadly no additional 4x slots for those in between cards, which is Kind of sad, but at the same time, who even uses 4X cards nowadays? The M.2 situation is also fine, you get no PC Gen 5 and 2 slots, but seeing how PCIe Gen 5 drives are now pretty much the tech equivalent of expensive brand name clothing, stuff that's pretty much just a vanity item, let's be honest, most average consumers aren't going to miss it. Though you do get 4 M.2 slots in total, which is pretty cool, and unfortunately, you only get four set of connectors rather than the six, which should be the bare minimum, especially on such an expensive motherboard. Whew, I didn't complain about that in a while. Huh, makes me, makes me feel good, makes me feel alive. Now, thankfully, the rear I.O. is pretty much as compromise-free as you can get, with eight USB Type A ports in total, which sure still isn't as much as some more entry-level gigabyte motherboards, but still plenty for most people, but probably the best thing is the two. USB Type-C ports with one of them reaching speeds of up to 20 gigabits per second. Add to that both HDMI and display port for integrated graphics, but let's be honest, if you're running a $300 motherboard, you probably do have a graphics card, and you also have Wi-Fi 6E and 2.5 gig Ethernet for networking, not to mention a full array of audio jacks, including optical spinoff. So it's all pretty much as good as modern rear I.O. gets without going too overboard. Meaning that all in all, it's a pretty well-balanced motherboard that's made even more unique by its very peculiar aesthetic, which shows some elements like the VRM heatsink design is cool, I guess. But then there's other stuff like that CAG attached to the chipset heatsink, which is, uh, more questionable to say the least. But if those things don't scare you away, it's still a pretty good motherboard that you can get via our Amazon or Newegg links down in the video description below. And while you're down there, maybe you should check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, or you get awesome perks as well. And let's be honest, if you can afford a $300 motherboard, you can also probably afford that. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ride, Eki Beach, Justin Rage, Elefronia, Kvalosh Roka, Max Summoner, Shane, Warcraft, Lansby, and Level Up. Down is you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.